أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم O you who believe fulfill all obligations lawful unto you for food are all four-footed animals with the exceptions named but animals of the chase are forbidden while you are in the sacred precincts or in pilgrim garb for Allah does command according to His will and plan O you who believe, violate not the sanctity of the symbols of Allah, nor of the sacred month, nor of the animals brought for sacrifice, nor the garlands that mark out such animals, nor the people resorting to the sacred house, seeking of the bounty and good pleasure of their Lord. But when you are clear of the sacred precincts and of pilgrim garb, you may hunt and let not the hatred of some people in once shutting you out of the sacred mosque lead you to transgression and hostility on your part. Help you one another in righteousness and piety, but help you not one another in sin and rancor. Fear Allah, for Allah is strict in punishment. Forbidden to you for food are dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and that on which has been invoked the name of other than Allah, that which has been killed by strangling or by a violent blow, or by a headlong fall, or by being gored to death, that which has been partly eaten by a wild animal, unless you are able to slaughter it in due form, that which is sacrificed on stone altars. Forbidden also is the division of meat by raffling with arrows, that is impiety. This day have those who reject faith given up all hope of your religion, yet fear them not, but fear me. This day have I perfected your religion, for you completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. But if any is forced by hunger, with no inclination to transgression, Allah is indeed oft forgiving, most merciful. They ask you what is lawful to them as food. Say, lawful unto you are all things good and pure, and what you have taught your trained hunting animals to catch in the manner directed to you by Allah. Eat what they catch for you, but pronounce the name of Allah over it, and fear Allah, for Allah is swift in taking account. This day are all things good and pure made lawful unto you. The food of the people of the book is lawful unto you, and yours is lawful unto them. Lawful unto you in marriage are not only chaste women who are believers, but chaste women among the people of the book, revealed before your time, when you give them their due dowers, and desire chastity, not lewdness, nor secret intrigues, if anyone rejects faith, Fruitless is his work, and in the hereafter he will be in the ranks of those who have lost all spiritual good. O you who believe, when you prepare for prayer, wash your faces and your hands, and arms to the elbows, rub your heads with water, and wash your feet to the ankles. If you are in a state of ceremonial impurity, bathe your whole body, but if you are ill, or on a journey, or one of you comes from offices of nature, or you have been in contact with women, and you find no water, then take for yourselves clean sand or earth, and rub therewith your faces and hands. Allah does not wish to place you in a difficulty, but to make you clean, and to complete His favor to you, that you may be grateful. And call in remembrance the favor of Allah unto you, and His covenant, which He ratified with you when you said, We hear and we obey. And fear Allah, for Allah knows well the secrets of your hearts. O you who believe, stand out firmly for Allah, as witnesses to fair dealing, and let not the hatred of others to you make you swerve to wrong and depart from justice. Be just, that is, next to piety, and fear Allah, for Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. To those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, has Allah promised forgiveness, and a great reward. Those who reject faith and deny our signs will be companions of hellfire. O you who believe, call in remembrance the favor of Allah unto you when certain men formed the design to stretch out their hands against you, but Allah held back their hands from you. So fear Allah, and on Allah let believers put all their trust. Allah did aforetime take a covenant from the children of Israel, and we appointed twelve captains among them. And Allah said, I am with you, if you but establish regular prayers, practice regular charity, believe in my messengers, 
honor and assist them, and loan to Allah a beautiful loan. Verily, I will wipe out from you your evils, and admit you to gardens with rivers flowing beneath. But if any of you after this resist faith, he has truly wandered from the path of rectitude. But because of their breach of their covenant, we cursed them, and made their hearts grow hard. They change the words from their right places and forget a good part of the message that was sent them. Nor will you cease to find them, barring a few, ever bent on new deceits. But forgive them and overlook their misdeeds, for Allah loves those who are kind. From those two who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant. But they forgot a good part of the message that was sent them. So we estranged them with enmity and hatred between the one and the other, to the day of judgment, and soon will Allah show them what it is they have done. O people of the book, there has come to you our messenger revealing to you much that you used to hide in the book, and passing over much that is now unnecessary. There has come to you from Allah a new light and a perspicuous book, wherewith Allah guides all who seek his good pleasure to ways of peace and safety and leads them out of darkness, by his will, unto the light, guides them to a path that is straight. In blasphemy indeed are those that say that Allah is Christ, the Son of Mary. Say, who then has the least power against Allah, if his will were to destroy Christ, the Son of Mary, his mother, and all, everyone, that is on the earth? For to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between, he creates what he pleases, for Allah has power over all things. Both the Jews and the Christians say, We are sons of Allah and his beloved. Say, why then does he punish you for your sins? Nay, you are but men of the men he has created. He forgives whom he pleases, and he punishes whom he pleases. And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between and unto him is the final goal of all. O people of the book, now has come unto you, making things clear unto you, our messenger, after the break in the series of our messengers, lest you should say, there came unto us no bringer of glad tidings, and no warner from evil, but now has come unto you a bringer of glad tidings, and a warner from evil, and Allah has power over all things. Remember, Moses said to his people, O my people, call in remembrance the favor of Allah unto you, when he produced prophets among you, made you kings, and gave you what he had not given to any other among the peoples. O my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned unto you, and turn not back ignominiously, for then will you be overthrown to your own ruin. They said, O Moses, in this land are a people of exceeding strength. Never shall we enter it until they leave it. If once they leave, then shall we enter. But among their God-fearing men were two on whom Allah had bestowed his grace. They said, Assault them at the proper gate, when once you are in, victory will be yours. But on Allah, put your trust if you have faith. They said, O Moses, while they remain there, never shall we be able to enter, to the end of time. Go you and your Lord, and fight you too, while we sit here and watch. He said, O my Lord, I have power only over myself and my brother, so separate us from this rebellious people. Allah said, Therefore will the land be out of their reach for forty years. In distraction will they wander through the land, but sorrow you not over these rebellious people. Recite to them the truth of the story of the two sons of Adam. Behold, they each presented a sacrifice to Allah. It was accepted from one, but not from the other, said the latter. Be sure, I will slay you. Surely, said the former, Allah does accept of the sacrifice of those who are righteous. If you do stretch your hand against me to slay me, it is not for me to stretch my hand against you to slay you, for I do fear Allah, the cherisher of the world. For me, I intend to let you draw on yourself my sin as well as yours, for you will be among the companions of the fire, and that is the reward of those who do wrong. The selfish soul of the other led him to the murder of his brother. He murdered him and became himself one of the lost ones. Then Allah sent a raven 
who scratched the ground to show him how to hide the shame of his brother. Woe is me, said he, was I not even able to be as this raven and to hide the shame of my brother? Then he became full of regrets. On that account we ordained for the children of Israel that if anyone slew a person, unless it be for murder or for spreading mischief in the land, it would be as if he slew the whole people. And if anyone saved a life, it would be as if he saved the life of the whole people. Then although there came to them our messengers with clear signs, yet even after that many of them continued to commit excesses in the land. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive with might and main for mischief through the land is execution or crucifixion or the cutting off of hands and feet from opposite sides or exile from the land. That is their disgrace in this world and a heavy punishment is theirs in the hereafter. Except for those who repent before they fall into your power, in that case know that Allah is oft forgiving. Most merciful. O you who believe, do your duty to Allah, seek the means of approach unto Him, and strive with might and main in His cause, that you may prosper. As to those who reject faith, if they had everything on earth, and twice repeated, to give as ransom for the penalty of the day of judgment, it would never be accepted of them. Theirs would be a grievous penalty. Their wish will be to get out of the fire, but never will they get out therefrom. Their penalty will be one that endures. As to the thief, male or female, cut off his or her hands, a punishment by way of example, from Allah, for their crime, and Allah is exalted in power, full of wisdom. But if the thief repents after his crime, and amends his conduct, Allah turns to him in forgiveness, for Allah is oft forgiving. Most merciful. Know you not that to Allah alone belong the dominion of the heavens and the earth? He punishes whom he pleases, and he forgives whom he pleases, and Allah has power over all things. O Messenger, let not those grieve you who race each other into unbelief, whether it be among those who say, We believe with their lips, but whose hearts have no faith, or it be among the Jews, men who will listen to any lie, will listen even to others who have never so much as come to you. They change the words from their right times and places. They say, if you are given this, take it, but if not, beware. If anyone's trial is intended by Allah, you have no authority in the least for him against Allah. For such, it is not Allah's will to purify their hearts. For them there is disgrace in this world, and in the hereafter a heavy punishment. They are fond of listening to falsehood, of devouring anything forbidden, if they do come to you, either judge between them or decline to interfere. If you decline, they cannot hurt you in the least. If you judge, judge in equity between them, for Allah loves those who judge in equity. But why do they come to you for decision, when they have their own law before them? Therein is the plain command of Allah, yet even after that they would turn away, for they are not really people of faith. It was we who revealed the law to Moses. Therein was guidance and light. By its standard have been judged the Jews, by the prophets who bowed, as in Islam, to Allah's will, by the rabbis and the doctors of law. For to them was entrusted the protection of Allah's book, and they were witnesses thereto. Therefore fear not men, but fear me, and sell not my signs for a miserable price. If any do fail to judge by the light of what Allah has revealed, they are no better than unbelievers. We ordained therein for them, life for life, eye for eye, nose for nose, ear for ear, tooth for tooth, and wounds equal for equal. But if anyone remits the retaliation by way of charity, it is an act of atonement for himself. And if any fail to judge by the light of what Allah has revealed, they are no better than wrongdoers. And in their footsteps we sent Jesus, the son of Mary, confirming the law that had come before him. We sent him the gospel. Therein was guidance and light, and confirmation of the law that had come before him, a guidance and an admonition to those who fear Allah. Let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. 
If any do fail to judge by the light of what Allah has revealed, they are no better than those who rebel. To you we sent the scripture in truth, confirming the scripture that came before it, and guarding it in safety. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and follow not their vain desires, diverging from the truth that has come to you. To each among you have we prescribed a law and an open way. If Allah had so willed, He would have made you a single people. But His plan is to test you in what He has given you. So strive as in a race in all virtues. The goal of you all is to Allah. It is He that will show you the truth of the matters in which you dispute. And this He commands, Judge you between them by what Allah has revealed, and follow not their vain desires. But beware of them lest they beguile you from any of that teaching which Allah has sent down to you. And if they turn away, be assured that for some of their crimes it is Allah's purpose to punish them, and truly most men are rebellious. Do they then seek after judgment of the days of ignorance? But who, for a people whose faith is assured, can give better judgment than Allah? O you who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. They are but friends and protectors to each other. And he amongst you that turns to them for friendship is of them. Verily, Allah guides not a people unjust. Those in whose hearts is a disease, you see how eagerly they run about among them, saying, We do fear lest a change of fortune bring us disaster. Ah, perhaps Allah will give you victory or a decision according to his will. Then will they repent of the thoughts which they secretly harbored in their hearts. And those who believe will say, Are these the men who swore their strongest oaths by Allah, that they were with you? All that they do will be in vain, and they will fall into nothing but ruin. O you who believe, if any from among you turn back from his faith, soon will Allah produce a people whom he will love as they will love him, lowly with the believers, mighty against the rejecters, fighting in the way of Allah and never afraid of the reproaches of such as find fault. That is the grace of Allah, which He will bestow on whom He pleases, and Allah encompasses all, and He knows all things. Your real friends are no less than Allah, His Messenger, and the fellowship of believers, those who establish regular prayers and regular charity, and they bow down humbly in worship. As to those who turn for friendship to Allah, his messenger, and the fellowship of believers, it is the fellowship of Allah that must certainly triumph. O you who believe, take not for friends and protectors those who take your religion for a mockery or sport, whether among those who receive the scripture before you, or among those who reject faith. But fear you Allah, if you have faith indeed. When you proclaim your call to prayer, they take it but as mockery and sport. That is because they are a people without understanding. Say, O people of the book, do you disapprove of us for no other reason than that we believe in Allah and the revelation that has come to us and that which came before us, and perhaps that most of you are rebellious and disobedient? Say, shall I point out to you something much worse than this, as judged by the treatment it received from Allah, those who incurred the curse of Allah and his wrath, those of whom some he transformed into apes and swine, those who worshipped evil. These are many times worse in rank and far more astray from the even path. When they come to you, they say, We believe, but in fact they enter with a mind against faith, and they go out with the same. But Allah knows fully all that they hide. Many of them do you see racing each other in sin and transgression, and their eatings of things forbidden. Evil indeed are the things that they do. Why do not the rabbis and the doctors of law forbid them from their habit of uttering sinful words and eating things forbidden? Evil indeed are their works. The Jews say, Allah's hand is tied up. Be their hands tied up, and be they accursed, for the blasphemy they utter. Nay, both his hands are widely outstretched. He gives and spends of his bounty as he pleases. But the revelation that comes to you from Allah increases in most of them their obstinate rebellion and blasphemy. 
Amongst them we have placed enmity and hatred till the day of judgment. Every time they kindle the fire of war, Allah does extinguish it. But they ever strive to do mischief on earth, and Allah loves not those who do mischief. If only the people of the book had believed and been righteous, we should indeed have blotted out their iniquities and admitted them to gardens of bliss. If only they had stood fast by the law, the gospel, and all the revelation that was sent to them from their Lord, they would have enjoyed happiness from every side. There is from among them a party on the right course, but many of them follow a course that is evil. O Messenger, proclaim the message which has been sent to you from your Lord. If you did not, you would not have fulfilled and proclaimed his mission, and Allah will defend you from men who mean mischief. For Allah guides not those who reject faith. Say, O people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the law, the gospel, and all the revelation that has come to you from your Lord. It is the revelation that comes to you from your Lord that increases in most of them their obstinate rebellion and blasphemy. But sorrow you not over these people without faith. Those who believe in the Quran, those who follow the Jewish scriptures, and the Sabians and the Christians, any who believe in Allah and the last day, and who work righteousness, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. We took the covenant of the children of Israel and sent them messengers. Every time there came to them a messenger with what they themselves desired not, some of these they called impostors, and some they go so far as to slay. They thought there would be no trial or punishment, so they became blind and deaf. Yet Allah in mercy turned to them, yet again many of them became blind and deaf. But Allah sees well all that they do. They do blaspheme who say Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. But, said Christ, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Whoever joins other gods with Allah, Allah will forbid him the garden and the fire will be his abode. There will for the wrongdoers be no one to help. They do blaspheme who say, Allah is one of three in a trinity, for there is no God except one God. If they desist not from their word of blasphemy, verily a grievous penalty will befall the blasphemers among them. Why turn they not to Allah and seek his forgiveness? For Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. His mother was a woman of truth. They had both to eat their daily food. See how Allah does make his signs clear to them. Yet see in what ways they are deluded away from the truth. Say, will you worship besides Allah something which has no power either to harm or benefit you? But Allah, he it is that hears and knows all things. Say, O people of the book, exceed not in your religion the bounds of what is proper trespassing beyond the truth, nor follow the vain desires of people who went wrong in times gone by, who misled many and strayed themselves from the even way. Curses were pronounced on those among the children of Israel who rejected faith by the tongue of David and of Jesus the son of Mary, because they disobeyed and persisted in excesses. Nor did they usually forbid one another the iniquities which they committed, evil indeed were the deeds which they did, you see many of them turning in friendship to the unbelievers. Evil indeed are the works which their souls have sent forward before them, with the result that Allah's wrath is on them, and in torment will they abide. If only they had believed in Allah, in the Prophet, and in what has been revealed to him, never would they have taken them for friends and protectors, but most of them are rebellious wrongdoers. Strongest among men in enmity to the believers will you find the Jews and pagans. And nearest among them in love to the believers will you find those who say, We are Christians. Because amongst these are men devoted to learning, and men who have renounced the world, and they are not arrogant. And when they listen to the revelation received by the messenger, you will see their eyes overflowing with tears, for they recognize the truth. They pray, Our Lord, we believe. Write us down among the witnesses. What cause can we have not to believe in Allah? and the truth which has come to us, seeing that we long for our Lord to admit us to the company of the righteous. And for this their prayer has Allah rewarded them with gardens, with rivers flowing underneath, their eternal home. Such is the recompense of those who do good. But those who reject faith and belie our signs, they shall be companions of hellfire. 
O you who believe, make not unlawful the good things which Allah has made lawful for you, but commit no excess, for Allah loves not those given to excess. Eat of the things which Allah has provided for you, lawful and good, but fear Allah in whom you believe. Allah will not call you to account for what is futile in your oaths, but He will call you to account for your deliberate oaths. For expiation, feed ten indigent persons on a scale of the average for the food of your families or clothe them, or give a slave his freedom. If that is beyond your means, fast for three days. That is the expiation for the oaths you have sworn, but keep to your oaths. Thus does Allah make clear to you his signs, that you may be grateful. O you who believe, intoxicants and gambling, dedication of stones, and divination by arrows, are an abomination of Satan's handiwork. Eschew such abomination, that you may prosper, Satan's plan is but to excite enmity and hatred between you with intoxicants and gambling and hinder you from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer. Will you not then abstain? Obey Allah and obey the Messenger and beware of evil if you do turn back. Know you that it is our Messenger's duty to proclaim the message in the clearest manner. On those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, there is no blame for what they ate in the past when they guard themselves from evil and believe and do deeds of righteousness, or again guard themselves from evil and believe, or again guard themselves from evil and do good, for Allah loves those who do good. O you who believe, Allah does make a trial of you in a little matter of game well within reach of your hands and your lances, that he may test who fears him unseen. Any who transgress thereafter will have a grievous penalty. O you who believe, kill not game while in the sacred precincts or in pilgrim garb. If any of you does so intentionally, the compensation is an offering brought to the Kaaba of a domestic animal, equivalent to the one he killed as a judge by two just men among you, or by way of atonement, the feeding of the indigent, or its equivalent in fasts, that he may taste of the penalty of his deed, Allah forgives what is past. For repetition, Allah will exact from him the penalty, for Allah is exalted and Lord of retribution. Lawful to you is the pursuit of water game and its use for food, for the benefit of yourselves and those who travel. But forbidden is the pursuit of land game, as long as you are in the sacred precincts or in pilgrim garb, and fear Allah, to whom ye shall be gathered back. Allah made the Kaaba the sacred house and asylum of security for men, as also the sacred months, the animals for offerings, and the garlands that mark them, that you may know that Allah has knowledge of what is in the heavens and on earth, and that Allah is well acquainted with all things. Know you that Allah is strict in punishment, and that Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. The messenger's duty is but to proclaim the message. But Allah knows all that you reveal and you conceal. Say, not equal are things that are bad and things that are good, even though the abundance of the bad may dazzle you. So fear Allah, O you that understand, that so you may prosper. O you who believe, ask not questions about things which, if made plain to you, may cause you trouble. But if you ask about things when the Qur'an is being revealed, they will be made plain to you. Allah will forgive those, for Allah is oft forgiving, most forbearing. Some people before you did ask such questions, and on that account lost their faith. It was not Allah who instituted superstitions, like those of a slit-ear she-camel, or a she-camel let loose for free pasture, or idle sacrifices for twin births in animals, or stallion camels freed from work. It is blasphemers who invent a lie against Allah, but most of them lack wisdom. When it is said to them, Come to what Allah has revealed, come to the Messenger, they say, Enough for us are the ways we found our fathers following. What, even though their fathers were void of knowledge and guidance? O you who believe, guard your own souls if you follow right guidance. No hurt can come to you from those who stray. The goal of you all is to Allah. It is He that will show you the truth of all that you do. O you who believe, when death approaches any of you, take witnesses among yourselves when making bequests. Two just men of your own brotherhood, or others from outside if you are journeying through the earth, 
and the chance of death befalls you thus. If you doubt their truth, detain them both after prayer, and let them both swear by Allah. We wish not in this for any worldly gain, even though the beneficiary be our near relation. We shall hide not the evidence before Allah. If we do, then behold, the sin be upon us. But if it gets known that these two were guilty of the sin of perjury, let two others stand forth in their places, nearest in kin from among those who claim a lawful right. Let them swear by Allah. We affirm that our witness is truer than that of those two, and that we have not trespassed beyond the truth. If we did, behold, the wrong be upon us. That is most suitable, that they may give the evidence in its true nature and shape or else they would fear that other oaths would be taken after their oaths. But fear Allah and listen to His counsel, for Allah guides not a rebellious people. One day will Allah gather the messengers together and ask, What was the response you received from men to your teaching? They will say, We have no knowledge. It is you who knows in full all that is hidden. Then will Allah say, O Jesus the son of Mary, recount my favor to you and to your mother. Behold, I strengthened you with the Holy Spirit, so that you did speak to the people in infancy and in maturity. Behold, I taught you the book and wisdom, the law and the gospel, and behold, you did make out of clay the figure of a bird by my leave, and you did breathe into it, and it became a bird by my leave, and you did heal those born blind and the lepers by my leave, and behold, you did bring forth the dead by my leave. And behold, I did restrain the children of Israel from violence to you, when you did show them the clear signs. And the unbelievers among them said, This is nothing but evident magic. And behold, I inspired the disciples to have faith in me and my messenger. They said, We have faith. And do you bear witness that we bow to Allah as Muslims? Behold, the disciples said, O Jesus, the son of Mary, can your Lord send down to us a table set with viands from heaven? Said Jesus, Fear Allah if you have faith. They said, We only wish to eat thereof and satisfy our hearts, and to know that you have indeed told us the truth, and that we ourselves may be witnesses to the miracle. Said Jesus, the son of Mary, O Allah, our Lord, send us from heaven a table set with viands, that there may be for us, for the first and the last of us, a solemn festival, and a sign from you, and provide for our sustenance, for you are the best sustainer of our needs. Allah said, I will send it down unto you, but if any of you after that resists faith, I will punish him with a penalty such as I have not inflicted on anyone among all the peoples. And behold, Allah will say, O Jesus, the son of Mary, did you say unto men, Worship me and my mother as gods in derogation of Allah? He will say, Glory to you, never could I say what I had no right to say. Had I said such a thing, you would indeed have known it. You know what is in my heart, though I know not what is in yours. For you know in full all that is hidden. Never, said I to them, ought except what you did command me to say, to wit, Worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. And I was a witness over them while I dwelt amongst them. When you did take me up, you were the watcher over them and you are a witness to all things. If you do punish them, they are your servants. If you do forgive them, you are the exalted in power, the wise. Allah will say, This is a day on which the truthful will profit from their truth. Theirs are gardens with rivers flowing beneath, their eternal home. Allah well pleased with them, and they with Allah. That is the great salvation, the fulfillment of all desires. To Allah does belong the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and all that is therein, and it is He who has power over all things.